Scott is animals. Scott, when you walk into a pet store, you're bombarded with all these treats for your guinea pigs. But uh, which ones are good and which ones are crap? Well, here's the truth about guinea pig treats. So I went to the pet store to check out some of these guinea pig treats and to look at the ingredients. All right, what are these ones? Vitacraft crunch sticks, wheat, wheat flour, flake corn, oats. It's just gonna make them fat, puffed wheat, peanut crumble, honey and sugar, yellow number five, and vegetable oil. Uh, these oxbow treats, actually, we sell them at the rescue. Um, and they're pretty basic ingredients, ingredients that's in their staple food. And I went online, look, it's uh, Timothy Hay, 100% um, freeze-dried bananas, freeze-dried strawberries. But they're treats. They shouldn't be given frequently. And this trail mix, all these seeds, it's just way too much. And, and the dried fruit, way too much sugar and fat. These uh, Timothy biscuits and Timothy-based treats are f great. But look at this Yo Dips Timothy Hay. They're taking perfectly good Timothy. And KT has this obsession with putting uh, yogurt all over it. Malodextrin, soybean oil, palm oil, lactose, whey, yogurt powder. Bunch of different artificial colors. Red, 40, blue, lake number one. Why are they putting all this stuff on, on the good food? So here, look at the... Yo cups, same thing, ground corn, there's gelatin in there, peanut pieces, yogurt powder, artificial colors, chemicals. Uh, it's just, they don't need all this stuff, all this sweet stuff. These yummy drops are, look at the sugar, whey, vegetable oil. Whey is, is milk proteins from milk. So it's just totally unnecessary for them to have all the sugar and oil and stuff. What else do we have here? Look at all this yogurt. Okay, guinea pig treat sticks, ground corn. These things are ground corn and millet. And then look, sugar, corn syrup, wheat, oats, soybean, chemicals, dried fruit, artificial colors. It's not a great choice. So with all of these options, you really got to stay on your game. On the LA Guinea Pig Rescue's website, there's a care page, and they have a list of all the good foods that are appropriate for them, staple veggies and treats and things that you should never feed them. So check it out. So now, when you're in the pet store or shopping online, and you feel enticed by a little bit of creative marketing, you'll stop and you'll look at the ingredients and you'll ask yourself whether or not this treat uh, is good for the guinea pigs, whether it even has any ingredients that are part of their staple diet, or if it's just something that has ingredients that they'd never find in nature and it's completely inappropriate for them. So I hope you found this video uh, educational and enjoyable. Don't forget to uh, subscribe to the channel. Uh, thanks for watching.